Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 5 of our Raspberry Pi video series. And in this video we'll be talking about basic Linux operation with Raspberry Pi and this video is actually a part of part 4. So before watching this part I would request you to watch part 4 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. That's why I have named this part as part B. Alright, so let's do some more basic operation in Unix like grep command, cat command, head and tail command, copy or cp command, mv or mu command, rm or remove file command, rmdar or remove directory command. So we are going to look some of these commands in this video because these are some of the operation that we will be most often using in our Raspberry Pi video series. Alright, so what is this grep? Grep is a command line utility for searching plain text datasets for lines matching a regular expression. So grep was originally developed for Unix operating system but is available today in all Unix like systems which is nothing but our Ubuntu operating system. So we also have grep command in it. Cat or concatenation. The program is a standard Unix utility that reads files sequentially writing them to standard output which is nothing but your console if you want to. The name is derived from its function to catenate or concatenate and list files. So the next one is the head and tail command. Head is a program on a Unix and Unix-like system used to display the beginning of the text file or pipe data. And the opposite is for tail command. So we're gonna also look at this command. So let's quickly do this in action and the rest of the commands like remove, move and copy commands are pretty straightforward. So that's why I don't have any slide for that. Let's do this in action and see how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to our console. So I'm just going to log into my Raspberry Pi right now. And let's log in KK and the password is admin. There we go. And I'm going to clear the screen by control L. So the first command that we're going to run is the grub command. So if you see the grub command, as I already said, it's like a utility which perform regular expression kind of search in your files and folders. So let's say I'm going to create a text this time and let's create a text file like uh, test1.txt and let's write something like I am going to work with Raspberry Pi 3 and then I'm just going to save it. Control X y there we go and then i'm going to create one more file let's call this as test2.txt and here i'm going to write all right and then i'm going to save it and now if i do an ls you can see i have two files here uh, let me also go inside one of the folder that we created in our previous video which is nothing but desktop let's do ls so we have an automation folder so I'm going to go over to the automation and here I'm going to quickly create one more file. This is also going to be, there we go. And now I'm just going to come out of the directories. And now let's say I want to search for fun. So let's do a grep and let's search for fun in all the files that we got. And as you can see, it says that the TX test2.txt has got this fun inside this. I think the fun we have given with case sensitive or maybe capital letter or something like that. Let's do a case insensitive by doing an hyphen i and hit enter. Hmm. Seems like we don't have any fun there. Uh, let's do with going. Yep. So you can see that test1.txt has got going and there is test2.txt which is also have this going in there. So this is how you can actually search for a text within any files within your subdirectories. If you want to search for exact file, let's say if I want to search within test1.txt, let's say I have this test1.txt here, so uh, grep of test one dot txt you can see that I will get output here so there are two goings inside this test1.txt that's what is the output here so this is basically a very very useful utility right 
and I'm not really going to deep dive into the grub command a lot because there are so many things that you can do and you can actually learn from manual of the grub as you can see here there are so many options available and you can keep on going down and see what are these things or so I'm just going to quit by hitting Q all right and let's clear the screen control L and let's see the other command which is nothing but the concatenate command so for concatenation uh, the basic idea of the concatenation is uh, the command reads one or more files and print them to a standard output, right? So in order for that to be done, what I'm going to do is let's say I want to print the uh, txt uh, test1.txt here and you can see that it prints all the uh, other lines within the test file. So if I want to print the another uh, text file, you can see it prints. So what if I want to print these two test file concatenated so I can do something like this there we go so you can see that it brings me up all the four lines concatenated so this is kind of cool uh, because uh, there are some situations where you might want to print out all the text lines within a text file right so that's where we use this uh, concatenation command so if I want to read uh, some of these special characters uh, within a concatenation you can also do cat uh, vet test one dot txt but of course we don't have any special character there so it just print like that and you can see there is a dollar there which means there is no special characters and it's pretty much okay so then the head command so the head command is very very simple uh, if you have a larger file then it will actually print that uh, so for that let me uh, go to the cd slash uh, var slash log and here we have uh, so many uh, log files uh, let's see if we have a uh, log file at boot dot log yep we have a boot dot log so this log is actually uh, created while you boot the raspberry pi so this is the log file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the first 10 lines of the log file so how to do that very very simple all you have to do is like this head there we go so basically it first prints the 10 lines uh, by default and if you want to print more then you can specify I think something like this hmm, hmm. you need to print something like uh, this hyphen yen of uh, 20 which means it will print you uh, the 20 lines there right and it's pretty much same for the tail as well so tail of uh, boot dot log Oops, and you can print the last 20 lines by specifying hyphen yen of 20 so it prints the last 20 lines so by default it is 10 line so you can also do a follow of tail by means of uh, hyphen f command uh, which means it will keep on following how many lines uh, if it is dynamically being created so it will keep on running behind the scenes so which is this is very very helpful utility actually right cool so I'm just going to quit and do a control L and the next command we're going to do is the copy command. So for that, I'm just going to come out. Oops. And let's do an LS. Hmm. CD slash home slash KK. Uh, let's do LS. All right. So now if I want to uh, copy this test one dot TXT to the desktop folder, the simple thing I can do is cp test1.txt and I can copy this to desktop and hit enter and now if I navigate to the desktop and hit ls you can see that our test1.txt is being copied right so if I want to delete uh, a folder called automation so let's quickly see what is there within our automation hmm, we have a test1.txt in there so if I want to remove a directory you can easily do a remove but before that let's do a uh, directory creation using mkdir so I did not tell this uh, in the slide but this is kind of very, very helpful so mkdir is for creating a directory which we already saw in our previous video so I am going to uh, delete 
a directory after creating it. So I will show you the difference between uh, deleting a empty directory versus uh, deleting a directory with file in it. So delete me empty, hit enter, right? And now to remove the directory, the command is rm dir and just delete me empty. If I hit enter and if I do ls, you can see that the directory doesn't exist because it is deleted. But if I try to delete the automation and hit oops rm dir. So if I use this command rmdir for the automation, it will say that failed to remove the automation because the directory is not empty. So how to remove a directory which has a file in it? This you can do with one more command called hyphen rf. And if you hit enter, oops, it is for rm hyphen rf automation. If I hit enter, you can see that the directory is gone. The automation directory is completely gone. It will completely delete that. So this is how you can delete a directory using rm command. And if I want to delete a file interactively, let's say if I want to remove all the files within the desktop. So if you see within this desktop, I have only two files. And if I want to delete these two files one by one by asking a prompt. So how to do that? Easy. You can just do rm hyphen i store. And if you hit enter, it will say that remove regular file test1.txt. So it is asking you, do you want to remove that? If you hit, if you say why, it will remove that. And it will ask for the next file now. And if you say n, it won't remove that. You can see that the test one dot, the test.txt is actually uh, available there without deleting it. So you can again call this guy and hit enter. It will again ask and you can say why, hit enter, boom, it's gone. And now if you do ls, all the files are gone. So this is how you can remove a file, remove a directory, remove an empty directory, remove a directory with content in it using these commands, right? These are kind of very, very helpful when working with Raspberry Pi. So in the next video onwards, we'll start working with the actual Raspberry Pi, rather working on the Linux command line interface. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.